watch my videos for any length of time and you'll know one undeniable fact about me. I'm not interested in the backstory of a bunch of people who don't deserve it. You know what types of people, the mass shooters, the school shooters, the all these types of people who we can all gather around the campfire and say, no matter if they're white, black, male, female, transgender, cisgender, lesbian, gay, it don't matter. None of these people in my eyes deserve any form of respect whatsoever. I'm not talking about the ones acting in self-defense. That's a nice try for a cop out, but that's not going to work here. I'm talking about the people who 100% deserve to be put under the jail. And when I say that, there's going to be someone out there that says, well, to me, Leon, I feel it's important to understand their background because not every situation is as cut and dry as you may want it to be. Not every situation is just, oh, somebody is screwed up in the head. Some people have suffered from trauma. Some people have gone through issues in life. And I feel like that's an important detail to discuss when you're bringing up somebody who's doing a criminal act. And it's perfectly fine for you to think like that. I'm not going to sit here and tell you stop thinking like that. I'm not going to sit here and tell you your way of thinking is going to cause more problems. All I'm going to say is, in the grand scheme of things, some people just fucked up. Some people like to pretend to be innocent. Some people just like to pretend to be like they're good human beings. But at the end of the day, in their core, the person they actually are is a fucked up human being. Case in point, two grown men who adopted children and violated them. This Walton County couple is now behind bars, accused of an unthinkable crime. Please say they sent their two adopted children and videotaped it. The county, the GBI, and DFACS now all investigating that couple as they try to find those children a new home. Channel 2's Veronica Griffin live at the Walton County Sheriff's Office. Veronica, those two men are being held in different places. That's right. One of the fathers is being held here at the Walton County Jail. The other father at nearby Barrow County. Investigators tell us they're keeping them apart while they continue to sort things out. Do not enter. Property of the Walton County Sheriff's Department. This sign is now posted on the front door of this home on St. Regis Way in Walton County. It's where detectives say this couple, William and Zachary Zulock, lose their two adoptive sibling children and videotaped it. We didn't really like it, but as far as we read, it was isolated, so... Wasn't really something that we're concerned about, but still not good. Neighbor Austin Potts tells me he learned about the arrest on Facebook. We have a community watch on the road here, and uh, they had posted about it and read the details and found out about what happened. According to jail records, the couple were booked and charged with aggravated child and sexual exploitation of children. The siblings were removed from the home by defects. It's very unusual for this area. It's usually a very quiet area, not a lot of that kind of stuff going on that we know of. Apparently someone knew. The GBI received a tip that a third suspect was downloading child about 15 miles away in unincorporated Loganville. We're told that person led detectives to this home. That's not tolerated around here and you know it's a good thing the police got it. Veronica Griffin back with us now live. Veronica we know you reached out to the county to find out about that sign on the front door of that house. What did they tell you? Yeah, they were told us we would need to file an open records request. And of course, that's something you know we need to do on Monday or a weekday. I'm pretty sure they walked in their neighborhood. They looked like the perfect family. Everybody was smiling. Everybody was cheery. Everybody was happy. But behind those closed doors, it was a fucked up scenario. And I'm sorry. To me, I'm not interested in their background. I don't care about their home life as kids. I don't care about what happened in school. I don't care about what teacher didn't like them. I don't care about their failed grades. I don't care about their depression. I don't care about them being bullied. I don't care about their relationships not working out. I don't care that they're probably gay. I'm not valuing any of that. These are two human beings who are fucked up to their core and I wish them no sympathy. I don't give them any leeway. I want them under the jail and after they pass away, I want them in hell. Why? Because they pretended to be something that they're not in order to violate children and hopefully get away with it and thankfully they didn't. I'm not interested in trying to figure out the complexities of a gay man and what they have to deal with in life as they're growing up. They violated children. I'm not interested in them being bullied because they were gay. They violated children.
children. I'm not interested in them figuring out their sexuality in this world where everybody's homophobic. They violated children. That's the thing that's sticking with me. I understand people want to save the world. They want to save everybody. They want to rehabilitate everybody. But you're going to have to understand something. No matter how much you want to have this great idea, which I really don't have a problem with, there's always going to be that lump sum of people that are fucked up to the core. That they will continue to be fucked up and no amount of sitting them in a corner, putting them in a cell, rehabilitating them is going to fix them because at the end of the day, they are fucked up. They will continue to be fucked up and some people can be cunning with it. I've said it in numerous videos. Some people like to hide in all these communities and pretend to be all about the cause when they're the biggest scum of the earth. And yes, we could have a conversation about people speaking up against them, but this is not about that. This is about two human beings pretending to be rosy cheeked in front of their own neighborhood while being the sickest son bitches on the face of the planet and I hold no sympathy for them. I pray for those children and I hope they find a real family that cares about them. The harshest truth some people are going to have to come to terms with, everybody can't be saved. Everybody is not hopeful. Everybody can't get on the boat with you. Some people you just have to leave out to cut and dry and they can fend for themselves. Why? Because they'd be a detriment to everything you hold dear. It's perfectly fine to let people hang by the wayside and have them fend for themselves. You cannot save everybody. It's a fool's game to try to save everybody. You can try, and maybe in one day in this life you could succeed, but... So here it is, the most unpopular opinion I'll ever do. I hope you guys duet and stitch and save or whatever you need to do to this because it's going to get down fast. If I would have understood when I was younger that fighting for my rights as a lesbian would mean allowing children to drag shows, attaching child molesters to our community, and allowing children to change their sex before they even know what their favorite color is. I would have never done it. Never. In reality, it's a hard task to achieve. So subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.